Hi, Ray Pointer here with another tip for using ChatGPT in the world of insights, market research and the wider ecosystem. And today I'm going to be talking about how you can use ChatGPT to create your own course so that you can speed up your learning processes. So what we're going to do is create a learning aid in ChatGPT and then we're going to use that as often as we want um, until we get the skills. So let's have a, an example. So I've told ChatGPT that I want to learn turf analysis. So this is total unduplicated reach and frequency. Um, actually, I know a fair amount about it. I teach this on courses so I can tell whether or not the course is likely to be useful. And I tell it to create a briefing document that I can read to get me started on understanding turf. So it does that. It gives me all the headings that it's going to do. It's going to talk about the introduction, um, the key concepts, the applications, steps in conducting it, all of the pieces I'm going to want to learn. So let me just give you a little bit of an example of the introduction. Um, it looks at the pieces here. If this is not detailed enough, I can ask it for more detail. If it's too detailed, I can ask it to bring it back a little bit to get the right level. And once I've done that and I've got a sense of what's there, maybe the next thing I'm going to do is ask ChatGPT to create an example study. Show me the business problem, the proposal, the data, the analysis and the report so that I can see how a project is done from the beginning. So it starts with talking about the business problem and the sort of proposal we might write, uh, write then the data. And we go through and here is the sort of data it's generating and it talks about how we go through the various processes. It can supply us code for doing this in Python. If we don't want to use Python, we can say, please show me some code for doing it in Excel, for example, or R, or in uh, Google Docs, Google Sheets. Then it's going to go through and show how we might report it. And we can ask for more depth here, um, interactive outputs, various ideas. So let's assume that I've gone through the briefing material, I've gone through the sample study, I think I've got a handle on what it is. So now I say, OK, I've read that. Please ask me five questions to see if I've understood it. Ask me the questions one at a time, review my answer and then tell me whether I'm correct or tell me what I should have said. So the first question it asks is, what is the primary objective of turf analysis in marketing research? So I type in to find the right mix of products to offer to customers. And it says yes, kind of reiterates what I've said, that's fine. Now I nearly didn't keep this example, but I decided it's really quite useful. So the second question is, what does unduplicated reach mean in the context of turf analysis? And I've made a typo. I should have said how many different customers is reached by a particular combination of products or of services. But I didn't. I said by a particular combination of customers. So it's very politely said, I'm close, but let's refine that a bit. And it gives me the correct answer. So by this Q&A system, I can get a sense of whether I need to go back and learn some more, whether I need to expand it. Well, that's it. It's really simple idea. I'm using it for all sorts of things these days. Whenever I need to learn something, I can create a course from ChatGPT, except you can't do this for ChatGPT itself because the cutoff date is too old. But for nearly everything else, this is a great way of designing your own courses so that you can get yourself up to speed on all sorts of things. Remember, if you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to the new MR YouTube channel. There'll be many more ChatGPT videos coming along soon. Bye.